So here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title fight? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever <laughs> felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to the spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. While self-belief is a powerful thing, he has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes there is nothing in pro sports quite like a ufc heavyweight championship fight but that is a reality you've been there you've done that baddest man on the planet putting that very distinction on the line tonight yeah the champ walks again and he wears that proudly johnny wants to be called the champ he loves to be called the baddest man on the planet he is so skilled he's so dangerous he's so scary and he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of his belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued, and we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the greatest heavyweight in the world. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Presenting the challenger, Dynamite. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Vin. One of the best in the business, Herb Dean, is our referee Ready. tonight. Good. All right, here we go. UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Nice leg kick. Early takedown here in round one. Beautiful takedown lands early in the fight. Let's see if we can add more as we go on. Nice punch lands. Nice kick to the body. Looking for the trip here in the clinch, but great balance by him to avoid it. Nice straight right lands. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. True on the double leg. And he lands another takedown here, just doing a nice job not telegraphing his shot, clean entries. The Olympian's gotta like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. He can't keep up. Once he gets to his legs, he's got to beat him defensively before he gets his hands locked around his legs or his body. Pretty athletic off his back to avoid that strike from the top. He's got to be careful here. Moving his head here on the ground, Chant. I mean, this guy is very active off of his back, and it helps him to evade those strikes. Great shot from the top position. 
And another one. Another strike from the top lands for him. And very effective with the ground and pound. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. And what he has to do here is just try to stay relaxed. Big explosive actions, panicky actions, are what gets you submitted a lot of times. Big ground and pound. Making all these shots count. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Another ground and pound strike lands. Moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. Work to get back in the guard now. Oh. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Beautiful transition. Oh, big shots from the top. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. Big ground and pound. Oh, man, what a strike from the bottom. Arch, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Ooh, good movement to avoid that strike from the top. Great job landing from the top position. Well, he's avoided a lot of the damage here on the ground. Nicely done with the head movement there. Not staying still underneath his opponent is allowing him to not get hit with anything too damaging. Making all these shots count. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Oh, and another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. Big right hook there by the champ. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. He's got to be careful here. Using a lot of good movement. Oh, he's got his back. 15 seconds. Mm, that was nice. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Right. Second round, straight ahead. All right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch. And every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. Ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. All right, round two. All right, next round is underway, and somewhat surprisingly, he got out of that previous round without absorbing anything in terms of significant damage, despite the fact that his opponent was pretty offensive. His opponent was very active, but it seems as though he can see almost everything coming in this direction. He's so well versed, he's so skilled in his defensive fighting that nothing is breaking his defense. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Both guys appeared to land there. Oh, nice takedown defense. Oh, he's got hand skills for days. Beautiful combination of punches to the head. Big inside kick. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he 
has an agreed double leg. Lands the grounded pound strike here. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangles. Nice job by him to still be a threat off of his back. Lands with the ground and pound here. Another ground and pound strike lands. And there you go, again, half guard. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. He takes his back. Just over three minutes to go now. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Oh, great ground strike there. And now, blood is a factor. Lands the ground and pound strike. Another strike gets through from this top position. Get the mount here. This is where he wants to be. Well, he's on his back, but he's moving his head on the ground pretty well defensively. He hasn't moved on the bottom, and now he's starting to swell after he takes another ground and pound strike. He is really doing a nice job with his head movement here defensively on the ground to avoid further punishment. He isn't waiting until his opponent throws. He's being proactive, and when his opponent throws, he's already moving, so he's missing it. Lands with the ground and pound. Now he's got good body position, yup. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pass for this guy. This guy's trying to land. He's trying to land effective strikes. Great ground and pound by this man. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, right into Mount. Oh, damage done. Bleeding from his cheek now. Posture's up now and lands a vicious head strike. Oh, good ground and pound here. He Bottom needs fighter to better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. Print the shirts. Ground and pound. And there it is, another strike. Gets through on the ground. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. If they try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Oh, that right eye's looking really swollen now. Win the scramble, win the scramble. Seconds winding down in round two. Neon Belly, big strikes landing here. Good run. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. And keep this fight on your feet. We want you to avoid that takedown. All right, let us show you all that was done in terms of the damage in that previous round. He has got a huge gash on his cheek. I mean, there was that shot right there. That one landed and opened him up. What a nasty combination thrown by his opponent. But this cut now is another issue to deal with. He's got one of the best fighters in front of him, and he's dealing with this cut on the cheek. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. Round three of a possible five. 
All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Big shots being landed on both sides here. All right, watch out for the setup here. DC, I know you don't pay your bets, but I'll bet you 100 bucks it goes for another takedown here. <laughs> If I don't pay, then why are you paying me? I'll yell at the octagon and go, man, don't shoot so I can get paid. But if I'm betting, I'm trying to take you over. I believe that he's going to get another takedown, so I will try to force you into saying that he does do it again. Oh, nice double leg, yes. That was a slick transition. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other Yes, yeah, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Nice job staying offensive there as he lands a shot from the bottom. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. He's in the mount. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Good jab there by the champion. Pretty good head movement. He's Look avoiding up. a lot of these ground strikes. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it, too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially for a wrestler. And again, dealing with that cut around his eye. Got to be careful. He's got to shore up the defense. Because if he keeps getting hit there, it's only going to continue to get worse. So we have crossed the midpoint in this one. Great job finding his shots from the top position. These ground strikes are starting to add up. time again on that cut. Oh man, another strike right on that swollen area. Somebody get the man an ice pack, please. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Right to the neon belly. Gains great posture and starts raining down punches. If his opponent does not move, this fight is going to be stopped. Short time now in the round. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Massive shot from the top. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Oh, man, another strike gets through, and now things are critical. We got a lot of blood, folks. Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Final seconds of round three. That's three rounds. 
Cruz, we're now headed to the championship ranks. All right, we're going to stay with him and follow him back to the corner to the stool because that is a really severe cut that he is dealing with. We'll see if the cut man can stem the bleeding here. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. Fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, deep, lean on the horse. We'll see who has the upper. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the upper. This UFC fight is sort of dissolving into a horror movie. I don't need to see any more damage inflicted. You don't have to lose everything on one night. His corner can stop the fight now, and he would be mad now, but he would appreciate them later because it will extend his career going down the line. Good, solid strike on the ground. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Oh, man, that cut is just bleeding like crazy. I wouldn't be surprised to see a stoppage here. So the amount of blood, the amount of blood that is leaking from this guy, it's amazing that he's still standing. He has been beat up thoroughly. Tonight is not going to be his night. Ground and pound strike there now. He's very close to the finish here. So what a moment in this man's career. A huge finish in front of a capacity crowd. After party's gonna be on fire. How about it? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level. It was amazing, John. Back inside the arena, now we go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 12 seconds of round number four. He played the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Big. And still the baddest man on the planet. I know you haven't retired yet, but uh, I don't necessarily want to see you share the octagon with that monster. I mean, this dude is a savage. There is prestige in being called the UFC heavyweight champion. He remains that. He is the standard by which all heavyweights are measured.